previously on Coder 2. You know what? No. My stats are gonna- I'm just gonna put a 5 into the compute tree entry. I'm gonna start boosting that. Because having the ability to heal will be helpful. And even though it's gonna do significantly less, because I'm dark side we're using a light side point thing, but whatever. <laughs> Barely any healing is better than no healing at all. That'd be a bad man if I was gonna do this whole game without healing. Send your droid ahead. You've been spotted again. And that means more mercenaries. I don't know about you guys, but I just can't wait. I'm close to the compound, so they'll be getting ready for Everyone us. Everyone down! I think we're close to the compound too. That means this entire place is probably on alert. So much for sneaking in. <laughs> uh, it, I'm kind of upset that we weren't able to kill the droid in that comic cutscene because that would have been even funnier. Same again. This is like really difficult for me. Rude. Don't do it, Beodor. Beodor. Oh my God, you fool! No. Oh, that grenade. Everyone down. Time to Stop you spamming down grenades, side. you a hole. How do you like that? More where that came from. Oh, he took my. <laughs> Did I call my boss? <laughs> they yield twice. Oh, we have made a grave. You know, I probably, at that point, I probably shouldn't even worry about getting the tree injury or the force healing. Oh, actually, that's why I need heal anyway, because it doesn't matter how many like, like force points I get. As long as it's nothing, nothing too offensive. Like, having poison isn't whatever. There is whatever, because it's just a debuff that doesn't really do much in the grand scheme game. Like, having a stun, nice. Having done, nice. But, like... Oh my god, healing. I mean, what did I expect with putting only 5 points in a tree injury when everything else has like 14? And now... Hello you beautiful magical creatures, Necromantic Water here. Thank you for joining me on my playthrough of Coder 2. Last time we explored the surface of Telos and figured out how to get to work. Figured out where our ship is, now we have to figure out how to get there. Some of mine isn't just for show, General. Stand back. The Zerka mercenaries were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these, after you. Interesting. I'm pretty sure it said that as when I first recruited him. How do you like that? Don't, don't you do it, Beardor. I know you tend to be stupid. Walking in the center area. Oh, I'm about to die. Rip me. Last quick heal time. You asked for it. <laughs> it's abusing that it's taking all my force. I actually thought I was looking at my stats between video. No, and you fool. No, that's why I didn't want it you to do that. Because it's poison. Yeah, the center area has poison trap. I was actually looking at my stats in between videos. And for one reason, I thought uh, when I made my character, I uh, I had like fourteen ish wisdom and Feels like charisma, but apparently I only have ten. So no wonder why my force is just like absolutely booty, and I'm missing all of the guns. Map. Well, I meant to not do that, but whatever. 
Might as well just activate all of these. Shrinkfin Constitution. Only had 18 of that. Oh, Charisma and Wisdom? Oh, I might actually. How close am I specifically to 18? Oh, I just need one. Let's go. Can you do this when you're holding a blaster? Oh, wow, he can. Just say the word. I. I, I get it said it, he could break it with his radiator attack, but I genuinely expected it. me to have to equip him with a, a melee weapon to do that. Interesting that Beodor's arm is so strong he could just casually use a blaster, break shields, or die. Win. Win. Why can't I say wisdom? There we go. For some reason, I just could not say the word. Wisdom. Like, heal. <laughs> I need charisma, so I'm not penalized as much for using a light side power as a dark side man. I just need everything, because as dark siders be, I'm greedy. My powers, and I want it now. Honey, it's not much. Speak the money. How much am I even at? Uh, almost five thousand. I can. We can put those numbers off. Long way to walk around. It feels like poison. You rat bastard! I said walk around the thing. And I was literally just about to say the words so we don't get poisoned, and you motherfucker walked directly onto the thing, and we got poisoned. A, if I could, I would bitch slap the hell out of you, Beador. Loot is more important. It's Take him down. Even the odds. More where that came from. Inky beans. Water birdie. Okay. What's that security visor? Where is demolition and security? Well, let's give that to Beodor because I'm pretty sure he has all three of those skills. Yeah. Here you go. Let's see, now your stat should be like. Oh, look at that. 20, 20, nice. Just say the word. Now, if only I could get something like that for me, like computer use, security, repair, maybe like persuade, somewhere, one of those stuff. Oh. I didn't want to do that. That's the second time it's highlighting a dead body and I can't interact with it. Yeah? Man, all these droid stuff, it's making me miss T3. My little robot dog. Racist as hell. <laughs> <And> I... 
Oh my god. I... I wasn't going to acknowledge it until, like, I get to T3 and get out of the future, but... Because I mentioned it, I'm gonna bring it up now. I... I just, when I was making the text for T3, uh, I just was trying to think of the most out-of-pocket out of shit I could think of, and I honestly... <laughs> and making him an asshole and also racist was just really funny. Uh, and I will be honest, like, the first few times I had him refer to my character as a, a, a monkey, uh, I wasn't meaning it in a, like, like, the actual, like, racist kind of way. I was just meaning it as a, like, oh, he's talking about a human, which is, I guess, racist in that way. But then, like, while I was, oh, fuck. No, 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 Retreat! <laughs> Tactical retreat! Like ASAP, because I'm almost dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so as I was saying... Uh... Like, at first, I was just like having him refer to my character as a monkey, because... She, uh, human equal monkey. And he was just being rude because he's a rude droid. Uh, and then like halfway through the video of me adding all the subtitles for T3, it I realized it's doubly so because my character is black. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't even intend for that. But I found that extremely hilarious. So I'm going to just keep the trait of anytime I talk to T3, he's just an asshole. Unless I get like moments where I have like influence gained on him, then I might make him nicer. But I, I thought that trait was funny. It was dumb fun. More where that came from. You are doing the Lord's work about being the best bullet sponge. No game. Do not pull that shit. Remote, you were inconvenient. Heal us both. I wish I just went to battle meditation to do more damage. Time to even the odds. Yeah. Screw you droids and having energy shields, which is inconvenient because I'm using blasters. Just, just you know what? That's yeah. Three good turns. And your stupid shield. Let's settle this. Making my blasters do even less. No game. Stop that right now. More where that came from. If I wanted to move, I would move. Time to even the odds. Hmm. So weird. I could have sworn like Xbox version, like when you were dealing with droids, you had grenades. It wouldn't even let you select a poison grenade on droids. I could be maybe I'm just misremembering things, which is entirely possible. But, this actually gives me a good moment to, there's like these two workbenches right here. Uh, I'm going to be right back and see if there's anything I can upgrade and... Poisoned. Anything I can upgrade or make. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back and after a lot of miscellaneous, like, stuff, Just say the word. I'm, I have made me a very fancy... There she is, one orbital shuttle. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. That's all a moot point, though. Um, and why is that? The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't fancy flying the shuttle through solid metal, so I'd say we need to find a way to get them open. We'll also need to find the ignition codes for the shuttle, or else we'll have some trouble getting off the ground. If we get all that, I wouldn't worry about what shape this heap is in. I'll get it running. Well, how nice of you.
That's not ominous or anything, seeing the droid just deactivated against a wall. Game, I didn't even mean to go near enough to it that you could interact with it. I didn't even do that back there. Let's go. Yeah. Feels like poison. poisoned. How is it I managed to walk through and not get poisoned? And then the second Just I switched the to them, they get poisoned. Yeah, turn this off. That's inconvenient. And kind of loot we got? Yes, money. Oh, is that another one of those yellow robes? Pretty sure. Yeah, that's one of those yellow robes. Oh, that'll be cell fodder or destroy fodder. Um, wow, that's a lot of money. Nice. What was the ROI she's got? It is not in either of them can equip, so it does not matter. <clears throat> unnecessary armors? Well, I won't say unnecessary, but just armor I can't use, so I'm gonna just... No, that of course it would be that simple. Oh, this will actually be a good example excuse to test something because, like, if I remember correctly, we're coming. We're actually coming up something that is I know for a fact we're stored content, or it's supposed to be. It's something I've never got to see, so this will be fun. If it is what I'm thinking it is. Maybe this is right. Cool, more droid stuff. Hey, what is that armor? Get equip it. It's not that bad. Oh, wow. Heavy armor, push strength, useless for us text characters. Oh well. Wow. Actually some pretty good defense armor. I might keep that in mind for later. Can I open the store. Okay. Right terminal. I I could be wrong. Or at least I hope I'm I hope I'm right at least. Because like I'm fairly certain there's actually something in this area that is restored content. And it'll be get to, it'll be neat to see it. So I'll be honest, so far of the stuff I have actually noticed is restored content. Granted, I'm still at the beginning of the game and there's a lot of shit that I have not seen. So I can't really say yay or nay or anything. There now is not the there's a nearby. No, I am not. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamadura tayaita ta bosana nansata. Sounds like you problem. Jicho watana ikune rakete ni to baramas nucho. Mind your. Why should I waste my time? Da hupa bosa kurata go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba wajia ki yuki to tune. Yes, but I could just take that now. <laughs> Why don't I just tell myself whatever you got? Grachi, you bachi, compa, duana muska, na boska wamba. Well, anyway, as I was trying to say, it, like. <laughs> Came from. What the hell was that like? Oh, I skipped some dialogue back there. Like, 
Only the weak suffer the strong endure. As always, General, when you lead, I shall follow. But it is only because we have been through so much together. Red bear door, he hates me. But anyway, I'm fairly certain there is a thing somewhere in this area that is related to the restored content. I think it's actually near the end of the dungeon. I thought it was sooner, but I guess it's later. Oh, I actually get to use the thing. Set and that, activated. That is not where I wanted to place that mine game. You picked that right up. And you place it in the thing. We actually get to open a thing that I can't Set open with security. Activated. Offer two med packs and a stimulant. Hmm. Well, Wait, I just realized. Hello, I don't even think it gave me whatever loot that man had. Oh, as I was trying to say when I was getting sidetracked by that man. I know it's too early to say anything because I'm at the beginning of the game, but so far, like some of the restored content stuff I've noticed, that I've seen. You. It's kind of whatever, and I can see why it just was cut, because it kind of is necessary. For instance, like, the cutscene of when the Harbinger landed on Paragus, and then Kraya's like, he is here. Uh, and then, like, the cutscene in between, or I guess cutscenes, in between you, the shuttle, getting, like, the shuttle at the beginning of the Telos, getting shut down and all, and, like, and talk about bracing yourself, like, eh. Like, those are neat, I guess, like, two-second things, but they're just unnecessary. But, I I know for a fact, there's a lot of cool, huge, like, actual, important stuff in the cut, so I can't wait to see that, so. Undressed. I am learning the power of battle meditation that I should have had previous playthroughs, not gonna lie. Oh, yes, the big chungy level that has everything. I guess awareness is just going to be the side I start not leveling up. Even more force reflecting. Oh, it feels weird that I'm level 12 at this point. I feel like I've been lower levels. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Which is fair, probably I am. We're gonna see an another quote unquote nearby terminal. It could be literally anything. Let's go. Because all these things are kind of nearby terminals. 
Just say the word. It's still really silly that his ability works with a blaster. I mean, it's just tied to the regular attack, but it's still silly. It's awesome. Also, what the hell? This droid has been damaged and does not appear to be functional. Okay. All I need then. Interesting. I don't call that being an HK unit. That's an HK unit. I could have swear that was just like a random droid. Oh, this! With time. Yeah, that. I'm pretty sure that actually is what I was thinking of. Like, the restored content thingy. That is somehow tied to this area, and I have no idea how to access it. Since I have never used the restored content stuff before. But it'll be an easy to drink it out. 200 money as well. Just. Oh, like, where's Theodore? Yeah? Oh, as I was getting at a second ago with the whole barrier thing, I actually don't think this is used much at all. Besides. Oh, yeah, I can say all these. Right. Yeah? Like, genuinely, I think besides, like, this segment. I actually don't think there is another moment it. where it's required to have Beodor to open one of these barriers. Oh, that's a big mamma jamma. Yeah, my nose. Everyone down. Oh, look at that. This won't take long. <laughs> oh, all it took was a simple upgrade to my rapid fire, and I'm already seeing more damage numbers. Where that came from. Yeah, I should have been. I should have got that sooner. But whatever. I'm just gonna get rapid fire on everybody if I can, or if I can. When I get the opportunity, we're just gonna get rapid fire on everybody. Fire is goaded. How do I access this? Uh -oh. I'll be right back. Uh, okay, I'm back. So, that door itself is, like, what's left of what was cut out from the restored content stuff, apparently. But what lies behind that door and the quest tied towards it, I actually cannot do until near the very end of the game after a whole bunch of miscellaneous other stuff. Uh, so, that'll be neat. That's definitely something I want to check out, because... Like I said, I've never done any restored content, so I'm definitely super excited to see the big, big stuff. Hmm. Shadow pad contains the ignition codes for the orbital shuttle. Ooh.
Alrighty, time to I'll be honest, I'm gonna make another quick save because that big mamma jamma droid that we saw in the shuttle, while you can just ignore it and run to the shuttle and GTFO, it's actually better to just fight it, which is a typical fight from what I remember. Because not only do you get experience and loot from fighting the fight, but there's also like a whole bunch of loot behind it. Like we're like he awakened from. So time to see if we can do this. <laughs> Did like no damage. I feel grenades. Oh, I said stop your grenade. You were hella useful. Like you only seem like really last for a short amount of time. No. No, I'm gonna die. Rip. Yeah. Everyone down. Yeah. No. I can't. Let me handle this. Don't, don't let me fail now. Okay, thank you. I was like, it's so close. Well, I guess it doesn't drop loot. Every time. It's a sad day when I don't get loot. Well, from the specific enemy. I'm getting loot over here. Click on the locker. I expect you to open the locker. Ooh, a dark Jedi Master robe. Probably not going to give me any stats compared to what I'm wearing, but like, well, let's just let's just check it for a second. The peak aesthetic for me, anyway. Is grays and blacks. Let's go. I hear you. And robes. Because nothing beats robes as peak aesthetic for me. However, because I'm not primarily using force. Not that wise, I'm not primarily using force anyway. I will not use a robe. Which is pain. Like I said, peak aesthetic. Although this is outfit I'm currently wearing is peak aesthetic for Dark Side anyway. Four. All right, let's go. We'll have this be a little bit longer. Do the shuttle. Maybe just like the thing right after the shuttle. All right, let's take the shuttle and go to the polar region. Shield network does not stretch over the polar region. 
which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. You've got to be kidding me. It's not my fault. Egotistic praise. An excellent shot, even with the prevailing winds. I couldn't have done it better myself. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and his allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. Relieved statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. What are you assassin droids doing here? Self-evident answer. Wherever you try to run, we will be there. Armed and ready. Rhetorical query. So the query you have posed to us is one we put to you. What are you doing here, we wonder? Hmm. How many are you? Chiding statement, oh Jedi. There are as many of us as are needed to capture or kill our targets. Egotistical boast. And there are far more of us than any one Jedi. Destroy one of us, and more shall rise from the wreckage. Unnecessary threat. And our attack protocols are more than a match for you and your allies. Anyway, destroying one of you was easy. We're having about three of you. Won't even, I won't even break a sweat. Although, the mines on the other hand might cause problems. I will be right back. Alrighty, back. I was leveling up Freya and equipping her stuff. I was going to kill those mines. Before they got to us. Freya, I would appreciate it if you heal. Thank you. Because you're a support after all. Let's settle this. Oh, this might actually be an interesting playthrough for me. I might unironically use Freya for a lot. Because I just I tend to not use her for a favor of other characters that I enjoy more. But oh, she's currently a healer. I might actually use her. I suppose. Future healer. Come on, come on. Just, just one. I will silence this one. And he is taking. Ooh, another HK part. Oh, oh. 
I forget how many I need. But it'll be good to have our friend back. Like our true actual like our friendo. Best character of the game. Um let's see what do I want to do. You know what? Theodore, get your ass up. Fine, whatever. Um, I believe this is a good starting point for now. I hope we've had a good time to make them in the future. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and try to stay fabulous.